I will start by using the long name in a row, uh, then use the object type on uh, in the columns, and I can count the net floor area, which is already put into this uh, field. So now I can start playing with this. So let's also take the gross volume, and I want to count any individual uh, IFC elements. And in this case, I also want to have the zone name attached here. And the zone name too, I will put into the columns. So just by dragging and dropping, I can create a list that uh, suits my needs. So in this case, I will use the zone name in the uh, columns and the zone name on this level. And now you can see that there's also these drop downs, which I can also use to dig deeper in this information. So zone name is uh, actually the uh, build number. And so object type is the type of apartments. So what I've had done now, so I have all the uh, apartment types in the model uh, specified according to, to their name. So I can click on any of these levels to see all of the types in the project. If I want to drill deeper and look at the specific apartment numbers, I can select them as well. And here I have the category for these types of rooms and then their specific names uh, below that. Uh, if I don't want to see everything, right away i can also uh, select a couple so in this case i will just focus on our apartment types uh, a uh, which will give me this list and a grand total and as you can see if i click on a apartment type i will receive the uh, values for all of them and if i dig deeper it will also change uh, to uh, reflect only this apartment which of course can also be combined with this uh, floor plan information to see where those uh, build numbers are actually located. 